okay dear students we are continuing with the exploration on the graph paper so today you have learned about uh, horizontal line which is the x axis and the vertical line which is the y axis uh, now you observe carefully when we draw one horizontal line and one vertical line in the plane what it is doing with the plane so basic thing is it is dividing the entire plane into four parts so i'm using the text box to write so it divides the entire plane into four parts and each part is called a quadrant we call it as a quadrant so you can see here that i have marked here the first quadrant so i am coming back to marking second quadrant now see here where is the second quadrant this is the second quadrant now i am coming back to marking the third quadrant see i am moving in the anti clockwise direction for marking the quadrants so when we when we draw <coughs> the x axis and the y axis in a plane it divides the entire plane into four quadrants see how these quadrants are marked now you see the location of first quadrant then go into the anti clockwise direction second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so these are how this is how we label the four quadrants in the rectangular coordinate system now i am doing one beautiful experiment what will be the coordinate of a point in the first quadrant let me take up few points in the first quadrant i have marked a b c d e observe carefully these five points which i have marked in the first quadrant what are the coordinates of point a it is 2 3 coordinates of point b 2.6 1.9 coordinates of point 3 c 4.3 3.03 coordinates of point d 5.24 1.83 and coordinates of point e 4 1 now what do i mean by this that if a is 2 3 what is the meaning what is the geometrical interpretation of uh, this point a 2 3 observe here carefully i am marking another point where both the x axis and y axis are meeting here this is the point f observe if i start moving from f to the right two steps one two and go upwards three steps one two three i have reached to the point a so that is why i say coordinates of point a is 2 3 so that means on the uh, on the x axis in the positive direction i have to move two steps and then in the y on the above in the above direction i have to move three steps 1 2 3 and notice that each and every point in the first quadrant whenever we are labeling any point in the first quadrant both the abscissa and the ordinate is positive now quickly observe some points in the second quadrant i am marking three points in the second quadrant quickly observe the sign of abscissa it is negative in all the points g h and i observe that the sign of abscissa is negative now quickly observe i am marking three points in the third quadrant in the third quadrant both the abscissa 
and the ordinate look carefully the coordinates of point j minus 4.8 minus 2.97 both the abscissa and the ordinate are negative now come back to the fourth quadrant i am marking three points here observe carefully the coordinates of point m abscissa is positive but ordinate is negative so this is how we explore abscissa the signs of abscissa and ordinate in the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and the fourth quadrant so i am concluding the uh, observation here so in the first quadrant we have observed that both the abscissa and the ordinate are positive now in the second quadrant i have observed that abscissa is negative and ordinate is positive in the third quadrant i have observed that both the abscissa and the ordinate are negative and in the fourth quadrant is negative so i hope uh, it is clear to all of you the sign of, of abscissa and ordinate in all the four quadrants so in this lesson we have learned when we draw a horizontal line and a vertical line it divides the cartesian plane into four quadrants quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 quadrant 4 and the signs of abscissa and ordinates in respective quadrants